And Dash is powered by Rasa. I'm not here to, to sell Rasa, but I will say this. Maybe Palantir will get mad. I've never worked with a more powerful piece of technology than Rasa. I was able to get the chatbot up and running in weeks. I mean, the fight with the BTA to deploy it was months. <laughs> like, get it up and running in weeks in an incredibly powerful way. So I'm going to do something rare, and I'm going to show you a live conversation that actually happened in Dash. I changed only two things. I changed the person's age, because they gave us their age and their name. So this is a live demo of Dash on a slightly separate UI. This conversation happened during the US Open. Now, what's interesting about this is Dash, they're asking Dash to buy a ticket to the US Open. That is not an LIRR station. So first, Dash has to understand the closest LIRR station to the US Open. The closest station is the Mets Wilts Point station. Now, anyone who's used Rasa before will know this is clearly a targeted flow. Dash then asks, are you using, are you traveling one way or doing a round trip? Just there, which the user responded with, is neither of these. Somehow Dash was able to understand just there corresponds to one way. Dash continues on the flow and asks the user when they'll be departing. Now, the user said 5 p.m. tomorrow. That actually has no semantic sense in the LLM world. That's a hard thing to understand. However, we're able to do something pretty magical here. I'll let this finish, and I'll describe what. Dash was able to take 5 p.m. tomorrow, use Duckling, which is Facebook's uh, service or you know, technology, to translate that into a timestamp, make an evaluation that this falls during peak hours. So Dash responds saying, this falls tomorrow during peak hours. You have to buy a peak ticket. It continues on the flow and says, do you qualify for any reduced fares? The user says there's 67. Are there any discounts? This is a conversation interrupt, exactly as Melissa described. Dash is able to make the determination 67 is greater than 65, so the user qualifies for a discounted fare. Dash then confirms. So to confirm, you want a one-way ticket from Penn Station to Metzwold's Point, leaving tomorrow at 5 p.m. on a senior fare. That would be amazing. But let's talk about how actual New Yorkers use this app. Now, the user has a bad knee and now is curious about elevators at their destination. So here's a secret API that nobody has access to other than this bot. Dash is able to determine that there are no elevators and escalators by hitting an actual API at the Metzwold's point station. It then recommends the closest accessible LIRR station, which is Flushing Main Street. We'll talk about Flushing Main Street in a second. It's something kind of interesting here. It also is able to look cross transportation and recommend that Metzwold's point the LIRR station is not accessible, but the subway station is. So you can take the 7 from Grand Central Station and have an accessible trip. Now, the user responds, is there an elevator at Flushing? You'll see something interesting here. The station's name is Flushing Main Street, not Flushing. And as Suvik knows better than anybody, this was a painful thing to solve. But Dash is able to understand that Flushing and Flushing Main Street are exactly the same station and responds by saying, there are two elevators on Flushing Main Street. However, one is currently operational. It's actually done a lookup and figured out exactly which, uh, which elevator is operational and directs the user towards that elevator. Still cool, but let's make it more complicated. And again, this is a real conversation that a user had. But now their grandson is driving. So uh, they want to figure out if the grandson can park. Dash is able to, this is not information that Dash has been pre-trained on, but Dash is able to pull up a map of the BTA's parking and display it to the user. The user is now typoed flushing, which they tend to do, and Dash is able to still understand uh, a one-way ticket from flushing, from Penn Station to flushing, leaving tomorrow at 5 p.m. on a senior fare, and present that information to the user to buy. This is the representative and full ticket flow that we've seen. This is a real conversation somebody's had.